Come on, Bean. There's Indy. Where's that 60 foot Bean? Go get him. All right, y'all. Y'all seen the two star stars of the show? Number one, Bean. Number two, Indigo. <laughs> Me and Shake and Bake, we're just uh, second fiddle to those two. But anyway, so we're out here today in the backyard again, and we got an unboxing of some safety equipment. Probably, arguably, one of the most used safety equipment. And also one of the one of the most when people do use it, it's not necessarily the most up to date. Um, so we're gonna get into that in a second. So what we got for y'all today is Race Quip Pro 20, which is Snell certified 2020 racing helmet. So like I said, this is probably one of the most used safety equipment and usually probably one of the most outdated ones that people do use. I uh, know. If you're not familiar with Snell ratings, they're a safety rating for, for helmets and other things as well. They, they, they rate other things. Uh, but the most, most of the time you hear it related to helmets. <clears throat> and they update them every five years. So if you got a Snell 2010 rated helmet, you're 10 years out of date. You're two, two, two things out of date. So if you got a 15, which most tracks take the last Snell rating and the newest Snell rating. So if you have a 2010 helmet, your racetrack may not accept that. If you got a 2015 uh, Snell rated helmet, they'll more than likely accept that. But I went out and got a new helmet because I needed one. Mine was Snell 2010 rated. Uh, so I went out and got me a new one. And this is the one we got. Like I said, it's the Race Quip Pro 20. Uh, and like I said, it's it's rated, uh, Snell rated for 2020. So we're going to unbox it. We're going to look at the rating. Uh, we're going to look over the helmet, go over a few features. Uh, we'll give it a quick try on and uh, see wh what it looks like. All right, so let's, let's unbox this bad boy if I can do it with one hand. All right, so they don't ship it in this box. This box is not suitable for shipping. It does come in another box. So open it up. Hey. It's it's well packaged, definitely well packaged. Comes in its own nice little nice little cover, which is pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> reach in here, try and open this up with one hand again. B, what are you doing? He's out there walking around. Walk. He's out there walking around on the pool cover. All right, let me see if I can get this thing off real quick. All right, so like I said, well packaged. Also has got foam covered over top of it. So we'll take that foam off. And I got the uh, flat back, flat, the flat, black um version uh they have uh different colors they've got matter of fact they got the american flag if you want to go to summit racing they got the american flag i'm sure they got it other places too but uh they've got red helmets they've got gloss back helmets they've got gray helmets they've got shiny gray helmet gloss uh flat gray and gloss gray and i'm sure there's probably a couple other ones in there but <clears throat> here we are like i'm gonna go ahead and sit down and uh, I think the looks, I, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks cool. Uh, what's nice about this helmet is it already has some of the options to add either a hybrid 
or the or the hands uh, neck and support stuff so if, if you know if you're going that fast like a lot of folks uh, you'll see them using especially uh, if you guys watch Street Outlaws I do watch a lot of Street Outlaws they all have either hands or hybrid uh, neck support equipment <clears throat> and like I said the helmet is is set up for all of that sort of stuff uh, so when we do go fast enough we will 100% be getting the safety equipment that's required for the speed and the the ET that we're going for but and this is just the first step uh, it is the new helmet and so you kind of flip this bad boy over they give you <clears throat> uh, they give you a nice little sticker uh, some screws to go in the side to cover those up along with some washers we're just gonna snip this bad boy Whoop. And in the inside, you can see, plain, plain as day, <clears throat> the Snell rating, SA2020, and that's the Snell rating. Of course, you can also see the Made in China sticker, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, and part of the, the 2020 rating is now the chin straps, right, or the straps, you know, to hold in the helmet. Uh, are made of a non fi uh, fire retardant material and I believe this is some kind of Kevlar if I'm not mistaken uh, someone can correct me in the comments uh, but they are um, it's all fire retardant all of it um, what's nice about this is these cheeks the cheek pads come out and you can adjust them how you want <clears throat> both sides the cheek pads you can adjust them as you want and uh, as you see I got a large uh, I don't have a huge head but I do I do have a fairly decent sized head but uh, overall and all it does it looks like a great helmet like I said it's got some of the safety features already uh, already for you if you want to upgrade to some of those neck safety equipment it's already there uh, it's got plenty of vents on the top and the back uh, to try and keep the uh, trying to keep your head cool but let's be honest when you're in a helmet and it's 95 100 degrees out <laughs> there's no amount of uh, of airflow that's going to keep your head cool but this also has a three millimeter three millimeter uh, face face shield also has a wide field of view in the in the shield uh, where some you know they only they only have a real small uh, small field of view so you got a lot of your peripheral vision still with this uh, with this helmet let me uh, let me get this uh, face lift up real quick all right so to lift the visor just pull this out a little bit try and do this one-handed if I can uh, let's see here Let's see if I can point it this way and kind of show you. So lift up right here and boom. So again, it's three millimeter, uh, three millimeter, I'll call it plexiglass. I'm sure it's Lexan or some other kind of material, but it's a plexiglass type thing, uh, type material. And I, again, it seals tight, uh, it seals tight around uh, the bottom of your neck to try and keep all the dust and dirt and everything else from flying up in, uh, flying up in your face and if you have all the right equipment uh, it'll keep all that smoke and everything from going up into your helmet hey ah, bean 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 all right so let's rip off this front piece if I can do it one-handed All right, like I said, it, it's a nice helmet. So I'm gonna set this on the table. And we're gonna toss this puppy on and see, uh, see what it looks like. See how she fits. 
Oh yeah, that's nice and comfortable. Nice and comfortable. Easy, easy strap in. If you're not familiar with how to strap in a helmet. Boom. Man, it's nice and comfortable in here. Uh, yeah, it feels nice. Visor is nice. The field of view is nice. Uh, so you, when you're gapping, when you're catching people and start to gap them, you can see them going go by that way <laughs> in your peripheral vision. So yeah, this is it's pretty tight in here. I don't know if you can. I don't know. I don't even know if you can hear me because it's it's uh, sealed up in here. But yes, sir. Like I said, probably the top top used safety equipment uh, is a helmet because if you run, uh, you know, a 13.9 or faster, uh, you gotta have a. You're supposed to have a helmet. You're supposed to have a helmet. Uh, so all you guys that are running 13.9 and faster, which is probably everybody in this, in this, everybody subscribed to me is probably running 13.9 and faster. So get yourself a good, safe helmet. Uh, You'll thank me in the long run. Lord forbid, if anything does happen, that helmet's going to save your noggin from getting racked around and from uh, from doing too much damage. Um, so, yeah. Helmet, man. There, there's, there's a lot of them out there. The Race Quip's got uh, several upgrades to this helmet. There's carbon fiber helmets out there. There's different composite helmet. I can't remember what composite this one's made of uh but it's it's well rated so that's why well rated and um i don't want to say cheap uh it was 200 and 250 bucks right around there 250 dollars uh but it's worth it for your safety in the event something happens you got the right safety equipment lord forbid nothing ever does happen but if it does you got the right stuff to be prepared for so that's it for this one folks i do appreciate everyone subscribing to the channel i appreciate everyone whether you're subscribed or not watching the videos watching those ads i 100 appreciate it um and hey it is what it is so if you are stopping in for the first time and uh, do me a favor look back check out some of the old videos uh on the channel if you like what's going on with the channel do me a few things like subscribe smash the bell shoot me a comment share it on your social media i'll definitely appreciate it shake and bake will definitely appreciate it every red penny goes from youtube goes straight back into shake and bake uh, i promise you that uh plus some <laughs> but that's it for this one folks until next one adios